Hello, good day everyone. Today's devotional explores the biblical reference of salt. How is it used in the Bible and some of its meanings? When Marlena and I visited Israel several years ago, one of the facts we learned was the important role that salt played in the extensive production and trade of salted or preserved fish coming from the Sea of Galilee in first century Israel. The ability to produce large quantities of salt from the Dead Sea or the Salt Sea, as it's called in Israel, was critical in the preservation of fish caught in the Sea of Galilee and its transportation throughout the trade networks of the Roman Empire. As a result, salt was very valuable. And besides its use as a preservative or for flavoring, it also functioned as money, being used as barter for the purchase of other items. Keep this aspect of salt in mind, its multiple uses, its value as we consider God's word and how he calls us to be the salt, salt of, of the, the earth. earth. As Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. So salt is mentioned over 40 times in the Bible. Salt sustains life, it signifies faithfulness. God in his word uses salt to symbolize many different positive characteristics we as believers in him and his son Jesus reflect in ourselves, our relationship with others, and the whole world. God uses salt to symbolize long time lasting friendship and relationships between people. Consider Galatians 4 6. Let your converse, conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you know how to answer everyone. Mark 9:50. Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt among yourselves and be at peace with each other. Salt is used as a symbol of God's everlasting love for us. You may sometimes question your value in this world and feel like you have little impact. Always remember, you are made in the image of God, a God who sees you all the time. As a follower of Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are like a pinch of salt, bursting with flavor and strength, giving us the ability to season, enhance, and preserve our lives and the lives of others as we serve and share in the name of Jesus Christ. We are to be that flavoring agent to spread the gospel of Jesus' disciples so that the flavors of God's grace and love can be experienced wherever God leads us and puts us. We are to share kindness and goodness to those around us. So each of us in our own unique ways, and we all are unique, with our unique God-given talents and gifts can help ease their troubles, expanding the kingdom of God here on earth. This is why Jesus calls us to be the salt of the earth, a people who preserves, sustains, and brings out the flavor or goodness of others and ourselves. As followers of Christ, we are to be the flavor enhancer for people. For the world, Jesus commands us to live so people see, hear, experience his love, his mercy, his grace in our lives as we share his good news, directing them to the true sustainer of life. Mm. Let us be the salt of Jesus and be an encourager, supporter, kind, generous, sustaining, loving. Be these positives and Jesus-like words so that we can stand out in the world and are noted for these attributes as we live our and share the good news of Jesus in our words and deeds. So be the salt of the world for Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening. God bless you, your family, friends, and communities.